Welcome to King Tech. Let's talk about that sinking feeling, that moment of pure panic when you realize your phone might be hacked. Your private photos, your banking apps, your entire digital life, it suddenly feels exposed. Now, the first instinct is to freak out, but that's exactly what can lead to bigger mistakes. So take a breath. This explainer is your emergency protocol. We're going to walk through this step-by-step -step to get you back in control. Let's get started. You know, this is the real question that keeps us up at night, right? Is somebody watching me? A hacked phone isn't just a piece of broken tech. It's a window into your life. Attackers can see your messages, listen to your calls, track your location, and drain your bank accounts. So recognizing the signs early and acting fast isn't just important, it's everything. It's how you take back control. All right, here's our game plan. First, we're gonna look at the telltale signs of a hack. Then we'll cover the critical three-step immediate response you need to take in the first few minutes. After that, we're diving deep into securing your digital identity beyond just a password change. Next, we'll walk through the ultimate solution, the factory reset. And finally, we'll talk about how to rebuild your security so this never ever happens again. So how can you actually tell if you've been compromised? Well, while hackers wanna be ghosts, their malware is noisy. It leaves footprints. See, for malware to do its job, like stealing your data and sending it back home, it has to use your phone's resources. It needs power, it needs data, and it needs processing time. And those operations create signatures you can spot, if you know what to look for. Let's connect the dots on these symptoms. Your battery suddenly draining like crazy and your phone getting hot? That's often malware running constantly in the background maxing out your processor. See a huge unexplained spike in your data usage? That could be the malware shipping your personal files off to a hacker's server. If your phone is suddenly slow, freezing, or crashing all the time, it's because that malicious software is hugging all the memory. Finding apps you don't remember installing is a huge red flag. That's probably the malware itself. And those bizarre pop-ups? Classic adware. If you start seeing calls or texts you know you didn't send, or worse, you're locked out of your accounts and getting random two-factor authentication codes, well, that's not just a sign anymore. That's a five-alarm fire. One of these might be a glitch, but if you're seeing a few of them together, you have to assume you're breached and act right now. Okay, if you're pretty sure you're hacked, the next 10 minutes are absolutely crucial. We have one goal here, contain the threat. We need to cut the attacker's connection before they can dig in deeper or lock you out for good. These next three steps have to be done in this exact order, and they have to be done fast. This is your immediate action plan. The very first thing you need to do, don't even think about it, just do it, is activate airplane mode. This is your network kill switch. It instantly cuts off Wi-Fi, cellular data, and Bluetooth. In one tap, you've severed the hacker's connection to your phone. It stops any data they were stealing mid-transfer, and more importantly, it stops them from sending any new commands, like an order to wipe your device completely. Okay, with the phone isolated, it's time to secure your accounts. And listen, this part is critical. You must do this on a separate, trusted device. Use your laptop, a family member's computer, a friend's phone, anything but the compromised device. Why? Because you have to assume your hacked phone has a keylogger on it. Anything you type, including that shiny new password, is being reported and will be sent to the attacker at the second you go back online. Start with the most important account first, your Apple ID or your Google account. That's the key to all your entire digital kingdom. The last immediate step is to prepare for total eradication. You have to get your head around this. A full factory data reset is the only way to be 100% sure the malware is gone. You can try running antivirus scans, but sophisticated threats are designed to hide deep in the system files where those scans can't reach. A factory reset is the only weapon that guarantees you're starting with a completely clean slate. So you've changed your main password from a clean computer. You might be thinking, phew, I'm safe now. But hold on, this is where a lot of people drop the ball. A smart attacker doesn't just steal your password. They build back doors so they can get in again later. Now our job is to go find every single one of those back doors and slam them shut. This is such an important point. A cybersecurity expert, Leo Notenboom says, just changing your password isn't enough. The moment a hacker gets into your account, they're not just looking at your stuff. They're digging into your security settings to establish what we call persistence. That's their ability to get back in even after you've locked the front door. So what's their playbook? First, they'll go straight to your recovery settings and change your backup email or phone number to one of their own. That way, they can just hit forgot password anytime and lock you out again. 
Next, they'll add their own laptop as a trusted device, which lets them bypass two-factor authentication. They can also steal your active login sessions, which lets them stay logged in on their web browser even after you change the password. A really sneaky one? They'll set up a forwarding rule in your email so a copy of every single message you get is silently sent to them. And finally, they'll change your secret security questions. You have to go through and check every single one of these settings. This is your immediate call to action. On that same clean device you used before, log into your main Apple or Google account. Go straight to the security settings. Find the list of trusted devices or active sessions. Go through that list carefully. If you see any device, any location, any session that you don't recognize, sign it out. Kick it off immediately. Then double check your recovery phone number and email. Make sure they belong to you. This isn't something to put off. Do it now. All right, you've locked down your online accounts. Now it's time to deal with the infection living on the phone itself. This is the eradication phase. Look, I know it's a drastic step, but when you're dealing with a serious infection, it is the only way to be absolutely certain you've won. So what is a factory data reset? Think of it as a complete do-over for your phone software. It erases everything, your photos, your apps, your settings, all of it, and returns the phone to the exact state it was in when you first took it out of the box. It feels brutal, I get it, but it's necessary because modern malware is designed to burrow deep into the operating system, making it basically impossible to remove by just uninstalling an app. The reset wipes the entire slate clean. Now please, listen very carefully. This is probably the most important warning in this entire explainer. After you reset your phone, you're going to see a prompt asking if you want to restore from your most recent backup from iCloud or Google Drive. You must not do this. I cannot stress this enough. That full backup is very likely infected. It contains the malicious app or the corrupt setting that got you into this mess in the first place. Restoring it is like deep cleaning your house and then immediately inviting the burglar back in for a cup of tea. It makes the whole reset worthless. So what about your data? How do you save the important stuff? You have to be selective. It's generally safe to restore individual files. This means you can manually back up your photos and videos to a computer. Your contacts and calendars are usually okay too, since they sync through your now secure cloud account. What you can't restore are the applications themselves or any of the old system settings. You are going to have to reinstall every app, one by one, fresh from the official app stores. Actually, performing the reset is the easy part. On an iPhone, you just go to Settings, then General, scroll down to Transfer or Reset iPhone, and then hit Erase All Content and Settings. On Android, it's usually under Settings in a menu called Backup and Reset or something similar. Just look for Factory Data Reset. Now, the exact wording on Android can change a little depending on who made your phone, like Samsung or Google, but you can almost always just open your settings and search for the word Reset. Okay, you made it. You've been through the fire. Your accounts are secure. Your phone is clean. This is your fresh start. Don't just rush to set things back up the way they were. This is your chance to build a fortress, to make your digital life so much harder for anyone to attack ever again. Let's talk about hardening your security for the long term. These are your new non-negotiable rules. First, only reinstall apps from the official App Store or Google Play Store. No exceptions. Second, Turn on automatic updates for your operating system and your apps. Those updates contain security patches that plug the holes hackers use to get in. Use a strong passcode on your phone. Now at 1234, use at least six digits, or even better, a mix of letters and numbers. Enable multi-factor authentication on every single account that offers it. And every once in a while, go through your app permissions. Does that game really need access to your microphone? Probably not. Revoke it. Finally, yeah, it's worth it to install a reputable security app for one more layer of defense. And let's talk a little more about multi-factor authentication, or MFA, because not all MFA is created equal. If you're using SMS text messages for your codes, you need to upgrade. Hackers can use an attack called a SIM swap, where they trick your cell phone company into transferring your phone number to their own device. And just like that, they're getting your security codes. A much better way is to use an authenticator app, like Google Authenticator, or for the highest level of security, a physical hardware key. These can't be stolen by a SIM swap. And here are the final touches to your new security setup. 
Be really careful on public Wi-Fi. It's a playground for hackers. If you have to use it, get a good VPN to encrypt your connection. Next, never, and I mean never, jailbreak an iPhone or root an Android phone. It might seem cool, but it rips out the core security features of the device. Also, call your mobile carrier right now and ask to add a security pin to your account. This makes that SIM swap attack we just talked about way harder to pull off. And finally, just develop a healthy sense of suspicion. Treat every weird link in an email or text as a potential trap, because it probably is. And that's really the bottom line, isn't it? We can clean the device, we can reset the passwords, but the real fix is changing our own habits and awareness. Technology can only do so much. Real lasting security isn't just a setting you turn on, it's a mindset. A clean device is great, but a secure mindset is your best defense, and it's permanent. I really hope this emergency protocol gave you the clear steps you needed to take back control. If you found this guide helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us make more of these explainers to keep everyone safe and informed. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.